Hi, it's Bobby with Office Tracker. Today we're going to go over rescheduling or changing event times, dates, or names. Let's say you have created an event in Office Tracker and now you need to change the time of the event or you would like to move it to someone else's schedule. There are two ways to make these changes. The first way is by using the drag and drop feature. First, click on the event to select it. When using the desktop client, you click on the event, it will change the color of the event. When using the web client, when you click on the event, it will put a blue box around the event to indicate that it has been selected. For this tutorial, we're going to work in the desktop client. Position the mouse cursor over the top or the bottom edge of the selected event. You will notice that the cursor changes to an arrow bar indicating the direction it can be dragged. This is to extend or shorten the time frame of the current event. So if I click and hold the mouse button, and I can drag the event up to extend it some additional time, or I can select it again and I could go down to extend the time frame down. The event automatically updates on the schedule. To move an event to a completely different time, day, or name, First, click on the event, position your mouse in the middle of the event, click and hold the mouse button and drag it to the new location. So we're going to move this appointment from Jessica's schedule to Pat's schedule in the same time frame. You will notice that the event automatically moved and updated to the name of Pat instead of Jessica. To move it across multiple days, we will do this in the week view. So I'm going to click on week, click to select the event. Click in the center, hold the mouse button, and drag the event to where you would like it to move to, and release. The system will notify you if there is a conflict with the booking. I'm going to select the same event and move it to Friday, but I'm going to have it overlap with this event so that it will cause a conflict. You will see the error that says double booking found, press double book or change the time or names. So I can choose to double book or I can cancel the move. This is dependent upon the sharing privileges that you have set up for that name, whether you have the double booking feature turned on to allow double booking or to allow double booking with a warning, which is how I currently have this set. The second way to make these types of changes is by clicking on the event and making the changes directly from the edit event window. In the desktop client, you will double click on the event and it will open up the edit event window. From here, I can adjust the day, the time, or the names that are associated with this event. So I'm going to move this back to the 10th and say OK. You will see it moved it back on Tuesday the 10th. That about covers it for today. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get notified when we upload a new video tutorial. These tutorials are designed to help you get the most out of your Office Tracker software. Make sure to follow us on Facebook for more handy tips and tricks. Happy scheduling!